you've heard about resting bitch face, but Ben Affleck introduced us to the resting miserable face. Why is this guy always down in the dumps, especially around a woman like JLo? Let's find out. Is Jenny from the block giving our sad fleck a hard time? Every time we've seen the two out in public, you can't help but wonder, is their relationship crumbling? There's gotta be a reason for Ben's long face. Even though the Benefer reunion made headlines in 2021, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck have since tied the knot. They only needed two engagements and about 20 years to get there. It all started in 2002 on the sets of the romantic comedy Gigli. Sure, they both later got divorced, married other people, and had children. In fact, since their divorces, they have both dated other people too. But you know what they say about true love? It finds you. In May 2021, a month after JLo broke up with Alex Rodriguez, she was once more romantically linked to Ben. For Benefer fans, this was everything. They got married in the summer of 2022 and are currently in their honeymoon period, or so we'd hope. Well, we gotta rewind a bit to give you some context. Affleck and Lopez first crossed paths in early 2002 when Lopez was married to Chris Judd. Then, all of a sudden, Judd and Lopez had split up by the middle of the year. Two days after, it was revealed that she had kissed Affleck during her 32nd birthday celebration. That was the first time the two were romantically linked, even if the timelines were a bit murky. If you remember, in JLo's Jenny from the Block music video, Ben Affleck made an unforgettable cameo. The video was basically about some of the problems the celebrity had, like having to continually avoid paparazzi when in a highly publicized relationship. The bit where Affleck caresses JLo's butt became a hot topic of discussion, so much so that Ben regretted doing it. Anyway, Lopez met Affleck's family in Boston in 2008, which is when he proposed to her the first time. We hear that Harry Winston crafted the engagement ring, which reportedly cost $2.5 million out of a 6.1 carat pink diamond, which was her favorite color at the time. Alas, Lopez and Affleck shocked and disappointed fans by deciding to postpone the wedding the day before it was scheduled. After almost four months, rumors circulated that the couple was no longer together. And on June 5th, around six months later, Lopez married Mark Anthony, a marriage that nobody saw coming, but one that lasted until 2014. On the other hand, Affleck was pictured with Jennifer Garner a few months after Lopez moved on to a new marriage. Then, one year after Lopez and Anthony's marriage, Affleck and Garner tied the knot. 2018 saw their breakup too. And what do you know? The stars collided, the universe conspired, the lovebirds found their way back to each other in 2021. To the delight of Benefer fans, at the Venice Film Festival in 2021, the loved-up duo walked the red carpet for the first time. So yes, it's not like the guy's always been spotted looking miserable, it's something that happened over time. Anyway, in 2022, they were engaged again. The ring turned out to be extremely identical to the one he had initially proposed with, but it was an 8.5 carat natural green diamond, which was her lucky color, rather than a pink diamond. That's gotta dent his wallet, eh? Fast forward to 2023, when Ben accompanied Jennifer to the Grammy Awards, and a video of him looking pretty unhappy went viral. That's when he became the talk of the town. In fact, it was discovered by the couple mid-ceremony that Affleck was trending for his long face. Yup, JLo was probably holding up the phone saying, Oh my god, honey, look at this meme about you. And Batfleck was like, Oh god, this again. But he made no effort to look a little chirpier gotta respect that, an unbothered king. Speaking of unbothered, he was spotted getting a little chummy towards his ex-wife Jennifer Garner on a few occasions in September 2023. The two of them were seen driving in Santa Monica together and giving each other hugs as Garner said bye to Affleck and their daughter Serafina. Publications began to claim that Lopez was jealous of the exchanges because of all the friendliness. Insider sources have claimed that JLo isn't too worried about those two. But then, how do you explain the tension between these two? By the way, Ben himself opened up about what his wife said to him in a heated and widely shared incident at the 2023 Grammy Awards. Turns out, it was Trevor Noah's fault. Yep, the poor guy was trying to avoid the Grammy host, and JLo told him to stay put. Both didn't realize their interaction was caught by the camera as it panned. 
which explains their reaction. In fact, it's gotten so bad that JLo had to address her husband's facial expressions, too. It is all right. You don't need to worry about Ben. Let me just tell you, he is good. He is happy. According to the singer, she and her husband suffer from PTSD from their last relationship. Now that they're older and wiser, they want to make it work. But being in the public eye isn't easy. An insider explained Affleck's miserable face by blaming it on his hate of constant camera attention. According to the source, Ben and Jen are doing great. But when Ben is pictured with a not-so-pleasant expression, it's usually because he hates the paparazzi who are constantly pursuing him and Jen. It's just one aspect of his day that he dreads, and it affects his regular activities, like going for a coffee run, giving the impression that he's unhappy with his life, surroundings, or the people he's with. In reality, it's just a few paparazzi photographers. Delving further into Affleck's perspective, the insider revealed that Ben even hates being photographed at red carpet events. Thing is, Jen loves it. This often causes friction between them, but they always seem to find a way to return to each other's happy zone. Truth is, Affleck unintentionally becomes a meme almost as soon as he steps outside. Despite having everything, he doesn't seem to be enjoying life, you know? And while some are super chuffed that Affleck and Jennifer are back together and still going strong, others have noticed instances in which Affleck appears to be uncomfortable in her company. Rumor has it that Affleck has strict guidelines that he must follow during their relationship. Plus, after Affleck's appearance at the Grammys, some people started to worry about his health, with some speculating that, given his history of alcoholism, he might have relapsed. Some reported he appeared depressed, while others claimed he looked worn out and had hollow, glazed eyes. The actor hit back at those comments, saying he works really hard to stay sober, and that these comments were never made when he was struggling with alcohol. He has also voiced worry about the potential negative consequences these memes have on his children. Yes, despite the fact that everything is in good fun, it might make the kids believe otherwise. Seems like others outside of the internet are also wary of Ben Affleck's expressions. During an interview on Jimmy Kimmel Live, the actor attempted to clarify his misinterpreted reactions. Turns out he's just got an unhappy resting face. This is me content. <laughs> That's how I, this is me amused. <laughs> hey, <you're> not, <laughs> I, that's something. how God made me. Now, remember the time the couple was spotted getting into an argument while posing for pictures at the Los Angeles premiere of the singer's film, The Mother? Ben Affleck looked super pissed in the video and made a lot of hand gestures. But lip readers have shown that the newlyweds were probably just arguing over the best way to walk over the carpet. Really? Really? According to a professional lip reader, the tense-looking exchange was simply Lopez asking Affleck if her low-cut top was showing too much, to which he replied that everything was okay. Can we get a fashion? After fans expressed worries, the director of Argo clarified the matter by telling the media that he was only joking with his wife. You know, regular husband-wife banter. Look, he clearly loves Jenny, but he might just be hesitant to give her the attention she so desperately wants. In public, that is. And he's not one who's going to pretend to be happy by smiling like the Joker. So you know what? We'll take it. At least we now know there's no domestic issues or brink of divorce on the horizon for these two. Let us know in the comments below what you think about Benefer 2.0, and we'll see you in the next video.